Welcome to How To Presentations, presented by me, Soivlin. And our first portion that we'll be covering today is the you in your presentation. Because, really, when people are watching a presentation, they're not watching what's on the screen. They're watching the speaker who's talking. Now, every once in a while, they're going to glance at the screen, and that's important, and that's why you should have graphics. But for the most part, it's about the person who's presenting it. So, your body position is important. You want to be standing at the center of your audience. You don't want to be too far to the right of wherever your audience is, or too far to the left, so you're closer to one side of the audience than the other. You want to be where you can easily rotate your body and look at any section of the audience. But in your positioning, you don't want to be moving around too much. You want to be stationary and no fidgeting, no leaning side to side. <sighs> I would turn on my webcam if I could. <laughs> Peanut gallery. As I was saying about movement, though. <laughs> yes, 101, I moved my hand slightly to the left. <laughs> uh, okay, as I was saying, movement. You can use movement for emphasis of your points. So if I was saying don't move too much to the left or to the right, moving my hands to the left to emphasize left and moving my hands to the right to emphasize right would be an acceptable case of using movement for emphasis. It becomes excessive when you stand in one spot and say you're shifting from left to right in your feet over and over again. That has nothing to do with what you're presenting on, but it's more of a ner nervous fidgeting. So you can also use movement when you're emphasizing a point in your presentation. Say you switch from one major topic to another. You can switch sides of your presentation. You can walk to the other side of the screen. But you don't want to be just moving across and all over the place when there's no major point to emphasize. And direction, also important and relates to your body positioning and movement. You want to be looking at the center of your audience. You want to be making sure you're making eye contact with people. But for the most part, your chest should be centered on your audience. Even if you're off to the right a little bit or to the left a little bit, you should be at the center of the body, not the people directly in front of you. Moving on, you should be showing your audience, not telling your audience with your presentation. In this PowerPoint, as you can see so far, there are a lot of little bullet points. We're not covering paragraphs of information in the PowerPoint. I'm showing you what the topics are. And then I'm telling you with my voice what details for those topics are. Your main ideas, short topic summaries, and quotes or other thoughtful information, pictures and infographics. These are all the types of things that you should be placing on your PowerPoint slides. These are the type of things that you usually also can't say. Quotes, pictures, infographics. Those are harder to remember. And I don't think you can speak a picture if you can. That's amazing, but I mean, <laughs> you can't speak pictures and infographics. So you place them on the PowerPoint. Furthermore, the things you should tell and not show the audience are your in-depth summaries, your long descriptions. If you have very long quotes, those should be on a, a note card or some other document and that you can read off of to say the quote and your filler content, the little things that interspace in between, maybe the little comments you make because the peanut gallery is talking too much, or the other aspects of your presentation that don't quite fit in anywhere on the slide. But some of the larger points that you can focus on to improve your presentation skills without worrying too much about what you're putting on the slide and what you're saying is making sure you always have a notes section to go with it. I know that sometimes people will say, don't use a note card, don't have a note sheet. That is wrong. Having note cards or having a single sheet of paper that has your outline and notes document on it, that is the best way to present. 
you want to have these notes and these references on you. You can, but you don't want to put too much information. You shouldn't be reading from them. You should, they should be, if you say you have a fact or a statistic or a long quote, that's fine. You can read off that because those are going to be hard to remember. But you shouldn't be writing down full paragraphs of information on each note card that you would read off of and that's your entire content for the slide. It should be little things to jog your memory. Say, for this slide, if I'm talking about knowing where my presentation space is going to be as the third topic going here, I would put a little not note down that says cover positioning for slide content rather than saying you got to know where your presentation space is because if you have a slide that has some sort of graphic on it or some sort of information on it, like an example was one of the one of the other presentations that happened at the same time I was presenting this presentation for the first time, one of the other people presenting had an arrow that pointed to him as a presenter. And he said as a reference, if you didn't know your presentation, if you didn't practice your presentation, you could forget where that arrow was, and then you'd be standing on the wrong side of the PowerPoint when that arrow showed up. That'd be really embarrassing. So it's always a good idea to practice your presentations as well, because practice makes it better. You'll probably never get it perfect, but you can always get it better. And the only thing you have to do with the presentation is make it seem like you know exactly what you're talking about and you know the information better than anybody else in the room. And you'll be fine, even if you don't know the information that well. So thank you very much for listening. And if you have exams or not, good luck on them.